I'm uh, joined backstage here with uh, Jared Christmas. How are you, Jared? Good. I've got a kitchen backstage. <laughs> a lot of people just get a room. I demand a kitchen. You know why? Because you need tea. Fantastic. Here we go. Instant boiling water as well. Oh, is it? Oh, I fantastic. Like around with a kettle. <laughs> Did it properly here then. Yeah, man. <laughs> are you yeah. looking forward to your show tonight? Uh, yeah, of course I am. Yeah, what, what of course I we... am. What kind of a question is that, man? <laughs> what, what can we expect from your show? Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty energetic. There's a bit of dance in there. Oh, you do that. That's your. your oh, yeah. Team. Okay. Um, that's all I can. What is? I don't know what else we've got on there. Um, some some cloth. Do you want some cloth? <laughs> we can make a tablecloth. <laughs> Two. Uh, there'll be some dance. There'll be some some jokes, some stories. Yeah. Good right. times. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, we're we're here at the the Wire Theatre. <laughs> what what do you? How, are you enjoying the venue at the minute? Do you like the look of it? Oh, I've performed here a lot actually. Yeah. I've performed at the Y Theatre in Leicester quite a bit. Um, I, I like it, it's good. I mean, to be, if I'm brutally honest, uh, and don't show them this, the stage is too high for comedy, I oh. think. Um, it's workable, it's a good stage, but um, I always just feel with comedy it's better to be on the same level as everyone else. Because these stages, you know, they were made for plays and opera and bands yeah. and shit. Whereas <laughs> comedy, you want to be, I feel, you want to be sort of as much amongst them as possible. That's fair enough, yeah. Um, you've got more shows at the festival this year. Uh, can you tell us a bit about, about them all? Uh, I've got a show on Saturday um, called Jared Christmas and the Awesome Others, <laughs> uh, which is basically an experiment. Um, so the Awesome Others is pretty much, uh, there's another guy, Tom Davies, and the audience, uh, and it's a game show about uh, surviving in a post-apocalyptic world. Okay. So uh, basically, the uh, the audience is split into three groups of survivors, and the, there's a leader of each group, and we quiz the leaders. And uh, if they keep fucking up, <laughs> then the group get rid of their leader and put another leader in. Oh, and nice. we get rid of the leader in very interesting ways. But the audience <laughs> don't know this is going to happen, so I've got no idea how it's going to go. Oh, fantastic! That sounds yeah. really good. Right, my surname's Mary. Your is surname's it? Christmas. We've sort of let's get put it the on. Show. Merry let's Christmas get it on, mate. <laughs> Come on! Okay, I'm, I'm coming up as well. There we go. There it is. This is the moment. This is a real <laughs> moment. And the microphone's really picking up what our cocks are saying to each other. <laughs> that was my cock. That was my cock. That was. Was it? <laughs> I've almost got my knee in your teeth. Oh! <laughs> it's, like it's like an FHM shoot now. There, isn't though, it? Yeah? <laughs> we'll carry on from there, shall we? Yeah. What? <laughs> My question to you. Yeah. I know over the years I've had a lot of stick about my name around Christmas. But Mary, yeah. How, have you had any good ones related to your name? I wouldn't say good ones. Um, I've, I think I've probably had them all. Uh, I do stand up on it because there was a couple that couple of ones that no one came up with and I came up with myself. And so I was a bit disappointed in, uh, in people in general. Yeah. So I just wrote a routine about names, that things that people called me, but put two, of, two ones in that I came up with, which uh, are the better ones. What were they? Um, the best one was the day a guy shouted out at me, Oi, Christmas, how does it feel that Muslims don't recognise you as a person? <laughs> no one's ever said that to me. That's mine. <laughs> that's mine. Fair. That's all mine. Fair enough. Have you ever been heckled about your name? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, weirdly, not so much anymore. I used to get it loads, but I think that's because I used to do... I used to do quite a bit of material about my surname, but I've kind of moved on from that. Because, you know, when you start, you, you, you're operating on a very surface sort of thing. You're grabbing any joke that you possibly can. And then once you've worked all that out of your system, you've, you, you start searching a bit deeper and stuff. So, I mean, I still do, I still acknowledge it, but the surname, but I don't do as, I don't focus on it as much as what I used to. Uh, so the classic one I always got was, uh, you know, you only come once a year. You know, which is easy to deal with. I go, yeah. I know, and it's all over your mum. <laughs> That's so, a great answer, to be fair. Well, any anything to do with banging a heckler's mum is a pretty quick and effective way to deal with that kind of shit. Fair enough. <laughs> so don't mess with me, or I'll mess with your mum. Have you ever done a, an Alan Davis and sort of punched someone in the face because you're because you're a name no. calling? No. no. Ever felt like it? Ever felt like? I felt angry, but I, I always feel in comedy if you get angry at a heckler, you've kind of lost because 
when I get angry, comedy's not in my head. Do you know what I mean? The red mist descends, and I wish I was a kung fu master. <laughs> um, so uh, I try and it's to be effective as a comedian, you need to be able to control your anger because once you get angry, that's when shit like that uh, guy Kramer, you know, comes out where you just say really regrettable things. Yeah. Yeah, because it's born from anger, you know. But if it's born from comedy, then it, it's probably going to be all right. Okay. Got one more for you before we good. leave you alone. Good. Better, be a, better be a fucking doozy. These recent this ones have been one. rubbish. This is a good one. Would you rather have no arms or no legs? It's a, it's a really tough call, mate. I mean, <laughs> either way, I'd be in the Paralympics, though, right? Fair, yeah. Sweet, sweet. So that's, that's a bonus. What event? What event would you do, though? Well, it depends. Depends on you. If I've got no legs. Ah, uh, look, if I have no legs, there's a risk I could gun my girlfriend to death. <laughs> So um, maybe I maybe I should go for no arms. Then there's no way I can shoot a girlfriend. Uh, Fair enough. What event would you go for then if you had no arms? If I had no arms, uh, drowning. I think they call it swimming. <laughs> well, I'm gonna drink that tea. It's gonna be really tea. bloody hot, mate. You're gonna burn it some lips. Quite hot, isn't it? You're gonna burn those lips. Oh, that's good tea. That's good tea. It's been brewing for. A- Thank you very much, Jared. Hey, Enjoy right. your show. Cheers, guys. Have a good show. Thanks. Thank you Thank- very much. And thanks, you guys.